Hey everyone, it's Connor from Coifin here today. Occasionally over on Twitter, we will share charts that show companies that are trading at historically low valuation multiples. And this week, someone asked us if it's possible to screen based on this data. They wanted to know how you can screen for valuations relative to historic lows or high ranges. In today's video, we're going to break down how you can do that. So jumping on over to the Coifin platform, the data we're using here is the percentile ranks. So if we go to snapshots and we go to percentile ranks, this is the data that we're using. And I'm going to change this to Amazon so that we can show you the example that I shared in that tweet. Here, what we're showing you is that Amazon's price to earnings is trading at historically low percentile. So we can see here we have it set to 10 years. You can change it to 20 as well. And we'll show that relative to its own history, the sector it trades in, and the country. If we scroll down here, we can see things like free cash flow yields and margins as well. So in Amazon's case, we can see that gross margins in the last 10 years have never been higher. It's in 100th percentile. The same goes for EBIT and net income margins are looking pretty strong too. Scroll up and we can see that for price to earnings, price to book, price to free cash flow, EV to EBIT, they're all trading at a low percentile relative to the 10 year history. And if we change that to 20 years, the data is gonna update. So we can identify that on a one-to-one -one basis by looking at a percentile rank of a company. And then if we open up the charting tool here and we look at valuations versus mean, which is a template, and we'll hide a few things here just so we can get a clearer picture. And then we change it to 10 years. We can see that the, the PE here is low relative to the mean. The caveat here is that 39 times earnings is typically a pretty high multiple to pay for a company. In Amazon's case, it flags under the screener because it's so low relative to its own history. So without further ado, let's jump on over to the screener and we're gonna show you how you can set this up. So let's create a brand new screen. With all screening, the first thing you have to do is identify your investment universe. So the top of the funnel of all the companies that you're interested in. You can select a trading region such as the United States and Canada. Let's go ahead and add Europe in there as well. You have some other options such as whether you want to specify specific countries, descriptions, ETF constituents, exchanges, industry sectors, and so on. We're going to go ahead and add the US, the UK, and France. So we've made those selections. The next step after you've identified your investment universe, which for us is about 10,000 stocks, you want to then add the criteria. So for me, I'm going to change the market cap range. So it only includes companies over $1 billion in market cap, which then cuts the number of matches by about four fifths. And the criteria that we're looking for as far as looking for historic valuation is percentile ranks. And let's head to valuation. And what we're going to do here is just pick a couple of ones just to demonstrate. So we want EV to EBIT next 12 months, and we want to select the 10 year history rank. You have other options up here, such as relative to the country, the country sector, the region and the region sector, and then global and global sector. We just want 10 year history. And now we're gonna do the same thing and we're gonna go to percentile ranks, valuation, and we're gonna look up the price to earnings on a forward basis. And we're gonna select 10 year history. So now you have these ranges, zero to 100, zero being the lowest percentile, 100 being the highest percentile. We're looking for companies that are trading at relative lows, so we want to cap the upper side of this range and we might go ahead and put 10 for both of them. So now we've cut our matches by a further 90% and we have about 228 that are trading in the lower percentile of these two data series here. You can filter this further still to add more context to the picture. So if I go to percentile ranks, for example, and I go to margins, some of these companies in this bucket that we're capturing right now might be trading at historic lows because margins have decompressed over time or the quality of the business has declined. So we can pick a few margins here like EBIT margin for the 10 year history rank. And then we're going to go back in there and choose gross profit margin as well for the 10 year history rank. And we're going to specify those slightly differently. So we want to capture the upside of the percentile. So we might want to limit the lower range. So we're going to go ahead and pick 70 for both of these. And that's then taken away another 100 or so matches. So what we've expressed here is that we want companies that are trading at relative lows on an EV to EBIT and a PE basis. But then we also want those companies to have EBIT and gross margins that are relatively high over a 10 year basis. You can give that screen a name and then create it. And here's your output. So now this is showing you all of those companies that are in that range. I'm going to go ahead and add a few more columns just to paint a bit more of a picture here. 
So what we've added here is we've added some more context. We've put the gross margin all the way down to the net and free cash flow margin. We've also added some Kager data for total revenues and EBIT over time as well. Naturally, you can tweak this criteria to better suit your own investing style. This is a great screen to run every now and again, just to see what companies are trading at the lower range of their historic norms. That does it for this video. We just wanted to demonstrate how you can do that. As always, you can reach out to us over on Twitter, which is at Coifin Charts. Our help desk is help at coifin.com. You can drop a comment in the comment section below as well. See you next time. Thank you.